Hello everyone, I hope you are having a great day. We have something new today. Let's create this old arcade game. Ice Cold Beer is a mechanical arcade game released in 1983. Two joysticks and control panel control the height of two ends of metal bar that moves up and down, with the ball rolling back and forth on the bar. Objective is to move the ball to specific lit hole on the playfield while avoiding unlit holes. And you need to be fast because the score depends on speed. This tutorial series will be good for beginners, we will learn a lot of things. But let's get started, we have a lot to do. This will be 2D game, so let's create 2D project. I'm using Unity 2019.4.11, but you can use any other version. When you fill everything, click create. First, let's create folders for scripts and sprites. Import all sprites. Everything we use in this video will be in description below the video. For all sprites except pixel, set pixel per unit to 128 because all sprites are 128 by 128. Rename this scene to game scene. Next, set resolution to 1920 by 1080. Create sorting layers. Background, border, hole, ball, metal bar and UI. Now let's create play area. For pixel sprite set pixels per unit to 1. Drag pixel sprite and rename it to background. Set it in center and scale it to fit the screen. Set sorting layer to background. Add borders by duplicating background and change color and shape. Add box collider to it, so that will block our ball from falling out. Position it all around background. Set sorting layer to border. Add another set of borders just for visuals, but without colliders. Next add black box, on this part will be UI and control sticks. Set sorting layer to UI. Add another box, which will be below black box just for visuals. Now let's create holes. Add circle sprite and name it hole. Set sorting layer to hole. Add the sprite mask component and set sprite to circle sprite. This sprite mask will be used to create a depth effect of holes and also will be used when ball drops into hole. Set sorting layer to hole and order in layer to 1. Add circle gradient sprite as a child of a hole, set color and set mask interaction to visible inside mask. Also add a circle collider to hole and set the radius to be small in the middle of hole. So when the ball touches that collider, it's 100% in the hole. Set collider to is trigger. Now let's create a ball. Add circle sprite ball, rename it to ball and set color. Add circle collider 2D. Add rigid body 2D for physics to work. Set linear drag to 0.2. Set gravity scale to 4.5. Next, let's create metal bar. Add metal bar sprite and set color you like. Scale it to fit the background and add box collider to it. Add rigid body 2D, set gravity scale to 6. In constraints, freeze X axis because this bar needs to go up and down. How this bar will work is that we will have two lifters, one for every side, 
and they will control metal bar. Also, change sorting layer order move border below UI. Rename it to metal bar. And last thing for this tutorial is to create those lifters. They won't be visible, so just create empty game object and rename it to left lifter. Add circle collider 2D. Add rigid body 2D. Set body type to kinematic because uh, a kinematic rigid body 2D is designed to move under simulation, but only under very explicit user control, and that is what we need. Place the lifter from the left side below the metal bar and duplicate the other to the right side and rename it to right lifter. Now when we play metal bar and lifters collide with borders and that is not good. To fix that we need to create a layer for metal bar and lifters and disable collision with borders. Add metal bar layer and ball layer, everything else will be on default layer. In project setting disable metal bar collision with default layer. Now when we play the metal bar will fall on lifters and the ball will fall on the metal bar. And that's it for this video. We make a lot of base things which we will improve in the future and add more functionalities. So at the end we will have a finished game. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like it please leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to support me more you can buy one of my assets at Unity Asset Store. Follow me on socials. All links are in the description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.